This is another China's math Olympiad problem. It's fill in the blank problem of year 2020. Here we have an equation in x, but it have square root and absolute value. Sometimes it's very tricky to deal with this kind of equation here. We are given that a, b are constants, positive. The three distinct roots here, notice that. And the biggest root actually happens to be b. Here we try to find a plus b. Why don't you pause the video, try to solve it. All right, so when you're ready, let's continue. So of course, whenever you see a square root, naturally you would like to square it, right? So let's do that. All right, so on both sides, the left hand side would be x absolute value plus x plus a absolute value plus two square root of x absolute value times x plus a absolute value, right hand side would equal b square. Now, does this help you? Probably not, because we still have square root and we still have absolute value. Not easy to deal with, wrong approach. All right, so it turns out for this equation here, we want to do variable substitution to turn this equation to a better form, all right? So how is this case? So this is the original equation, all right? So we're gonna have variable substitution. Let's write down the original equation here. Yeah, equal b. So with this substitution, we're gonna net u equal x plus half of a. So in this case, the original equation turn the equation in u. Let's say this function is f u here. Notice that this is symmetric. So in other words, f u, when you think about it, is even function. In other words, f elective u is actually equal elective u. That's good news because for even function, we know that the roots occurs in pairs. If x is a the root, then elective x must be a root. In this case, we're told that there are three roots, which means zero must be the root, all right? So since there are three roots, so f0 is the root. In this case, f0 would equal to square root of a over two, uh, a over two plus another square root of a over two. Yeah, and that equal to b. And the left hand side, of course, is 2 square root of a over 2, and then you get square root 2a equal b. That how a and b are related. Now we need to find a or b in order to calculate a plus b. Okay, so here's the summary here. By using the variable substitution, we are dealing with a symmetric equation here, and we also know that f0 is a root, so we have this equation. Now what? Now remember, we are given that one of the original equation has x3 equal b as a root. We're going to take advantage of that. So originally x3 equal to b is a root in the new equation in u, the, you know, the root would be u equal, remember, the substitution is b plus a over 2 must be a root. Okay, so let's plug it in, right? So f u in that case would equal to u minus a over 2, that's b, b is a possible number, so what do we get? is square root of b plus, over there is the square root of uh, b plus a, b plus a. Absolute value is positive, that's okay. And then we equal to b because we're given that this is a root. Of course, we want to solve, maybe replace a with b, right? So what is the relation here, right? So b squared would equal 2a, so a would equal to b squared divided by 2. Now notice that b is greater than 0, so we're going to divide both sides by square root of b. So what do we get? This equation here, right, 
we're going to divide square root of b on both sides. What we get is 1 plus square root of 1 plus b over 2 equal square root of b. Of course, you're going to do, do some algebra here. Move 1 to the right-hand side. You get square root of b minus 1 on the right-hand side. And then you square, now this time when you square it, it, it will help you. Okay, let's try that. Let's square on both sides. 1 plus b over 2 equal b minus 2 square root of b plus 1. And 1 cancels and b here. Okay, if you uh, shift, you know, to the other side, what you get is b over 2 would equal 2 square root of b. b is positive divided by square root of b on both sides again. So what you have is 1 half equal 2. Uh, 1 half of square root of b equal 2. So b equal uh, 16. Right? So what is a? a here is half of b square. Right? So B square is 256, half of that would be uh, 128. So what is A plus B? A plus B, and we got 144. That would be the answer to the problem. All right, so here the trick is actually the variable substitution and then turn this function into an even function. All right. There is an alternative method, and I won't recommend it, but just FYI, I present it here briefly, okay? So for the original equation, you can consider u is greater than um, half of a, then you get rid of the absolute value, the function becomes this. How do you solve this function? a is a constant. You know, a is everywhere is except for the u. So here, you're gonna have a trick to use another variable substitution so u equal ta so that you can cancel a all right so u equal ta let's plug that in so what you get is ta minus a over 2 plus ta plus a over 2 equal square root of 2a of course you divide both sides um, by square root of a so what you get is t minus 1 half square root, right, plus t plus 1 half and equals square root of 2. Now, you have an equation, you solve t, then you know u, and then you, you're done, right? So, how do we solve this equation here? Right, the function in t, do you want to square on both sides? In this case, no. Alright, so this is another common trick in algebra. So notice that when you let the first term be b, the second term be a, we know that a plus b equals square root of 2, but then a square minus b square. Let's do that. a square minus b square. You're going to cancel t because t here is coming here. So what do you get? a square minus b square, you get t plus 1 half minus t minus 1 half, that equal to 1. Of course, a minus b, a square minus b square, you know that is equal to a minus b times a plus b. What is a plus b? The square root of 2. So what do we get? We get a minus b equal half of um, 1 over square root of 2, which is square root of 2 over 2. All right? a plus b, a minus b now. So a would equal to sum up and divide by 2. That would be three quarter of square root of two. So what is t here? t would equal, yeah, a square minus one, because by definition, a equals this. If you square it, you can get that. So here, let's do that. a square, which is nine over 16, times two minus one. That's 9 over 8 minus 1, we got, let me see, is there any algebra mistake? I'm oh, sorry, minus 1 half. Okay, 
because t plus one half equals this. So minus one half, let's erase that. Minus one half. So this nine over eight minus nine over four. Okay, nine five over eight. All right, cool. So since we know u equal t times a, right? So what is u? u equal t a. Here it would be five of eight times a. All right, that's good. So here, another case is what if uh, u actually is smaller than this, right? So here we I'm gonna skip the steps. You can conclude that u has to be zero in this case, which happens the root we already know, right? So why that is the case? We can leave this as exercise. The hint is that you can use am and gm inequality to argue that this is only possible when u equal to zero. Okay. Now for the alternative method, right? What you get is you find out you know two roots because the roots happens in pair. You have you know you have this one you know a pair and a zero three roots. Okay, that's good. And you are given that the bigger root equal b. Okay, so you plug that in. So here, this is the, the bigger root. You know x. Remember x would equal u minus a over two, right? So minus a over two. So that equal to b. B equals this. You solve for a, right? You have equation for a here. In other words, yeah, equal square root of two a. So a is 128, b is 16, which is the same as we got in the other method. Of course, the other method is much simpler. Anyway, that's an interesting problem, and it requires a few tricks here and there. I think those, however, are very common. All right, so it's good to know them. All right, why don't you go and review the steps, and uh, you know, please like if you do like share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.